want to welcome you to this moment around God's Word and especially around prayer today. We are in the midst of a, as a church of a two-week prayer focus as we work towards the elections. And uh, you will find at thecentralhub.org our daily prayer focus sheets. They give you prayer requests and some of the specific, not only prayer themes, but the specific sub-themes that we will be praying for right in just a few moments here and that we invite you to pray more extendedly over as this day goes through. We just believe prayer changes nations and God's people need to be seeking Him right now. Today, Thursday, of our first of the two weeks of prayer, we're praying for peace and safety and civility among people across our nation. Wow, do we need that prayer to be answered. There is so much harshness, so much rhetoric. There's rioting in our streets. I mean, we, we can't even talk to each other, it seems, in, in, in a peaceful, civil way if we belong to opposite political parties. We just need to pray that God today will bring peace and safety and civility uh, to our nation in our discourse. James 3, verse 17 says, The wisdom from above is first pure, and then peaceable, and gentle, and open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. That's not what rioting in our streets looks like, but this is what godly wisdom looks like. We'll be able to speak to each other without getting angry. We'll be able to have earnest conviction. We'll be able to feel our convictions deeply, but yet communicate in loving ways to other people. Verse 20 of James chapter 1. Verse 20, human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. I mean, it does not produce. I mean, human anger hurts people. Human anger confuses issues. Human anger sometimes blinds us to logical thinking, but it does not accomplish in all of that the righteousness of God. That's the bottom line. We want God's righteousness. We want what's right to happen. But human anger distorts and blinds us from all of that. That's an amazing verse. Read it one more time. Human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires, that God desires in your life and that God desires in our nation. But Jude 2 says, may mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you. And may mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to our nation. So we're going to follow again the prayer points that are on thecentralhub.org uh, for today's uh, prayer focus. And uh, let's, I invite you right now just to join me in praying through those prayer points. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the fruit of the Holy Spirit, not the fruit of angry human nature, but the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Lord, our anger causes us to riot and destroy and yell at people and, and, and hate people who disagree with us. But we thank you for the fruit of the Spirit. We thank you for love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control. Those nine fruit of the Spirit, that's what we need in our nation. That's what we need in our heart. Fill us with your Spirit until that is our disposition, not just being angry at people who disagree with us. And we pray for peace and for safety and for civility in the midst of all of these very divisive issues that our nation is facing politically right now. In terms of this election coming up and, 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 and the two incredibly different directions that are in front of us for where our election's going to head. We just pray for, for, um, for peace even when we're engaging very divisive issues. We pray that you, oh God, will help your, us as Christians, as, as we're at work and politics comes up or, or we're with our family and we we have children who may disagree with us politically. My God, we, we just pray that you, you'll keep us civil in the way we talk, with our actions. Keep us, keep us within the realm of the fruit of the Spirit, Lord. Help us to be loving. Help us to be clear and firm, but also peaceful. Help us not to be abusive back. Help us not to be yelling at people who disagree with us, Lord. I pray you'll, you'll give us grace. And we pray that justice and fairness for every person, O oh God, will come to our nation, regardless of their skin color, regardless of their economic status. We pray for justice and fairness for every person. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen.